Welcome everybody to this video where we're going to talk about changes which are coming up for the BMP PowerShell and CLI for Microsoft 365. My name is Sasa Juvonen. I'm a principal product manager in Microsoft and with me here are two of the great community leads uh, within the within those mentioned areas. So let's do a quick intro. Uh, Irvin, let's start with you from an alphabetical order. Who are you and what's your role? Well, if, yeah, if there would be a long list, an alphabet would make sense. But <laughs> hi, I'm Erwin, um, um, the, the PowerShell, PMP PowerShell guy. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a quick intro. And Valdek. Like, yeah. <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm Valdek. Uh, I am uh, a developer advocate at Microsoft, Microsoft 365. And in the context of this recording, I am one of the co-owners of CLI for Microsoft 365. Yes, excellent. Now, we are introducing a change which will be impacting PMP PowerShell and CLI for Microsoft 365. And let me transition to the slide sharing thing. So, the multi tenant app uh, uh, registration for PMP PowerShell with delegated permissions will be deleted. Uh, we really want to help our customers to improve their security posture and to recommend or drive customers to use the single tenant registration with only those permissions and scopes which are needed. Um, this will have an impact uh, on the PMP PowerShell uh, and CLI for Microsoft 365 scripts. Uh, and we wanted to do this quick video on talking about what is the impact, what does it actually mean? Uh, we'll provide additional guidance uh, and more videos in future as well. Now, Irvin, uh, as we started with you uh, on the interest as well, so what does this change mean for the PMP PowerShell? Basically, what meant, we, we we try to make your life a bit easier by introducing the PNP Management Shell app. So um, starting for the, the new version of the, the sort of what I call the new version, you had the old PowerShell version, the Windows PowerShell version, and the, the new PowerShell uh, core version, the, the ones with the black background effectively. Um, we stopped using the classic ways of authenticating and we moved to fully Azure AD app authentication. And for that, you had to register or consent to the PNP management shell. That was the, sort of the easy way forward. Um, you had to register uh, the, the consent of PNP management shell in your tenant. Uh, we had a commandlet for that, register PNP management shell access. That was basically the first commandlet you ran. Uh, you got a few pop-ups, you clicked consent, and from that moment on, you could use PNP PowerShell. That functionality is going away. Um, you will have to register your own Azure AD or Entra ID application in your tenant and use that one instead. So that now, that's going to be the impact. Now, related on that one, does this mean that there's a change related on permissions or the permissions or the user role? Um, the previously you were supposed to be a tenant administrator as well, right? So there's yeah. no change no. that. There is absolutely no difference. You still need to be able to create that Azure AD or Entry ID app in your tenant. Uh, so yes. from a permission level, there is no difference. No. Cool. cool. So no change from that perspective. We are just creating a single tenant app registration to the yep. specific tenant, and then you are able to uh, adjust what are the scopes and permissions which will be granted. Correct. Now, while they on the CLI for Microsoft 365, can you talk about the impact in there? How does that relate on on uh, the 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 association, or how does that CLI 365 uses this uh, app for now? So I guess in our case, like the impact is exactly the same, right? The way we use this app was to give you a great experience where you install CLI for Microsoft 365, and you you can authenticate to your ten tenant with your account, and you don't need to do anything else on top, right? So you should download a tool, and you can use it directly from from the start. With this change in place, you will first need to create your own Entra app. And in there again, like you create it in the tenant where you want you want to use it, and you grant the scopes that you need. And uh, we're going to make it as easy as we can to find out which scopes you need for the commands you need to run. We have already docs in place, right? Because like the ability to use your own Entra app, we support that already now, yep. right? So the only thing that will change is now you have to. Where where in the past that was a choice, whether you use this app or you, you, your own app, from September the 9th, you will have to create your own app, right? And, yes. and again, we will have docs, we will have uh, videos that shows you exactly step by step, step what is it that, that you, you have to do. 
Excellent. And, and now the same applies for PMP PowerShell. We're, 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 you will notice in the in the, the upcoming um, uh, weeks leading up to September 9 that we will probably do a few more releases of PMP PowerShell, um, which, which will in, introduce other functionality for you to make your life easier in this new way of registering an app. Yep. And already today, uh, both of you already said that this is actually an option which is available already today for PMP PowerShell and for CLI for Microsoft 365. And these are the references and the documentation which is available uh, in the docs. We'll mention, obviously, we'll have the links in the in the video description as well. So you don't have to write all of that uh, long in, uh, links in here. Um, so just to recap, for anybody who's watching the video right now today, before that date, they can already, already start transitioning to use the single uh, app registration within their channel. Correct. And of course, if there's any questions uh, or help needed or uh, questions to clarify the, the chains, please use the issue list, uh, CLI for Microsoft 365 issue list or the PMP PowerShell issue list. Uh, we have our community members uh, uh, involved there helping with the questions as well. Yep. But thank you. I guess that's it. Thank you, Waldek. Thank you, Irvin. Uh, just uh, and, and chains, uh, which people should be aware uh, why we wanted to record this video. We will provide assets, uh, additional uh, videos uh, focused on setting up the things and, and focused on uh, the single tenant app registration as we move along within this journey.